<laughs> oh, buddy boy, we're back. Welcome in to another episode of Conversation. I'm Connor with We State Creates, along with Jerry Greg. How Hello. y'all doing today? We've had a lot of controversy in our group chat over this <laughs> a one. Lot of, a lot of talks. I'm honestly surprised that we're even here. How's everyone doing? <laughs> doing pretty good yourself i've i've been i've been better but you know what uh things are going all right i'm glad that we're here i'm glad that we've made it we're rolling we're with the punches we're rolling with the punches you know jerry just got off a game of rocket league you know there's all sorts of fun things going on greg how is your day how's work how's how's life productive productive um Got some work done over at the old radio station, and then I'm trying to make cuts for my fantasy baseball league currently, so it's like a full-time job. Yeah, and you got two teams rolling on that. How freaking, yeah. how could that, how do you even do that? Well, I, I it's pretty understand. much like a, it's pretty much like a set it and forget it type of deal. We just have to look for like transactions and stuff on free agency, so. Gotcha. And you got what's what's two names? It's the uh, wind surge and your south side, south side sliders. Sliders, yes, yeah. sir. Nice. You think you're gonna fare well in that league? Uh, I like my rosters, but I don't know. It's all really new to me, and I will for sure be updating you guys on the teams and how they're doing. So yeah, you're gonna have to update uh, us. That's uh, okay. I don't want to be. No, updated. no, I want an update. Jerry's in a sour <laughs> mood today. I don't know what is yeah. like up his I'm, up his I'm just arse. messing around. <laughs> I know, but I want I want weekly updates here on conversation, and I think that the fans would love that. But anywho, that's not what we're talking about today. Today, as you can tell in the title, we're going to be talking about some pizza madness here in the ICT. Pizza, pizza, pizza. You know, with March Madness coming up, it's March. We got two people that, you know, I think one person really enjoys march madness out of this bunch and the one other person you know doesn't really like march madness and then another one's like you know what if my team's in i like it uh i'll let you guys be the deciding factor of who you think that might be but uh we're going to be doing a bracket uh pizza off it's called pizza madness uh, this bracket is brought to us by not a sponsor or anything like that. We just found it online. Uh, Wichita by uh, EB. They made a bracket, and it's called the uh, Most Liked Pizza in Wichita and the surrounding areas. So I think this bracket is a few years old, but you know what? Um, hopefully we don't get into any trouble with this, but you know what? If we do, be fine. we'll take it down, whatever. Um, but But first off, We've got a controversial item uh, that is sitting right next to everybody. Today, the drink of the week, I got to take a pick. I got to do the pick. Um, and I chose brisk iced tea, strawberry watermelon. Um, the two knuckleheads, want, the two knuckleheads you to, to my side. Let's let's hear what, what they have to talk about. I want about. you to know there's nothing fucking tea about this. Okay. This is this is nasty sugar water and i'm gonna drink it and i'm gonna like it because i paid i think 225 for this bottle or some shit with tax i will say for some reason it only comes in a gallon (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's it's not an actual gallon but this is one liter one liter it's a lot i'll say that it's a lot it's 70 calories per serving 190 per container better be fucking good I'll say that this is the biggest boy that we've had on the drink of the week. Uh, if you're listening and you have any suggestions for a drink of the week, uh, we might choose one of your suggestions. But I will do the honors by opening this bad boy up to kick us off on this Pizza Madness podcast here on Conversation. Let's take a drink. Oh, the smell is already too much. <laughs> Oh I love God. it. I, I mean, this is one of my favorites. I don't know if anyone has ever had this before, but um, I don't know why they think it's going to be so bad. Let me know your thoughts, boys. Not if you don't like that. it, you don't like it. But, uh, you know, here we okay, go. Okay, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, but uh, like I say, it's a little much. There's a lot. Just too much there. sugar, you think? 
So this is like no, well, no, no, no. I don't, I don't think that. But <clears throat> this is not a one setting drink. This is like a you drink maybe half of it, and you put the rest of it away. Right. And you drink it again later. Eighteen grams of carbs per serving. What? This is liquid, bro. Carbs? We're talking yeah. carbs on this bad boy? I mean, sugars are carbs. Ah, the more you know, I guess. Um, but no, this is the drink of the week. We got brisk strawberry Dr. sodium. <laughs> there's there's a, a lot of sodium. There's a it. lot in there. I'll tell you that much. But no wonder Connor's in a bad mood today. I'm in a great mood. Look at me. <laughs> We're just all picking on each other. That's what this conversation's all about, I guess, you know? Okay, so we all have the bracket in front of us, yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show the audience the bracket. Again, we this... start in top we start in top left and then go in Yeah, I would have to yeah. think so. Um well, first off, before we get into that, I just want to touch on one major, minor thing. Um, good and bad news. No Major League Baseball. Fuck that noise. Terrible news. Terrible, terrible, terrible news. But I said major and minor. Minor leagues are still on. Win surge opening day. Greg got us the tickets. We're going. Look at that. I mean, baseball's almost back. It's almost oh. here. It is back for college, so that's that's one good upside sort to this effect, whole thing yeah. you know but mlb delaying the season by this means that the royals won't get to see bobby wood jr in a royal uniform to like july because i, I don't th think the mlb is gonna be they may not even have a season at this point but who cares yeah who freaking knows what's what's going down jerry you have any thoughts it's just frustrating on my end uh, you know i'm not not as big of a uh Baseball fan as you guys, obviously, you know. Um, I'm just happy that minor leagues are back. I think yep. that's the biggest takeaway from this all. We love minor um, leagues. Yeah, love our minor league team. Because well, you know we don't have any we don't have any major league teams around here that we can just go watch. So, not you know. within a three hour drive. So, right. I mean, right. I think it's Plus just we have the we have the nicest ballpark in the minors right now. Oh, so. for sure, it's just a blessing to have the wind surge back, and we're going to be in full support of. Our Wichita wind surge, baby. Yep. So. Shout out to them. Shout out and to them. And yep. with MLB gone, maybe minor leagues will be full every game. You know what? I, I As everyone knows, or at least you guys know, uh, I consume a lot of John Boy media, and there's been a lot of talk about how, you know, what if, yes, it's bad for baseball, it's bad for the overall sport, but like, this might give some um, light on, shed some light on, like small wiffle ball leagues, small blitz ball leagues, in like leagues that normally wouldn't get like praise or like views online. Like, yeah, for sure. It's it's actually it's not a good thing by any means of the overall sport, but it's it's going to be interesting to see if the people that are putting out the content, you know, that are trying to find views and, and just have a good time kind of just like what we're doing they might get some people that may not have watched but are now watching because they're just looking for something to to watch exactly hey they'll come watch us hey and not, bring it on but never know and f1 is starting back up and yep. mls oh, soccer is in full swing as well so we yep. have those looking forward to cannot wait this is a this is a very good and is it nba ending soon not until like June. Ooh. Okay, well, hey, best time of the year is gonna be right around June. <laughs> so we got baseball, we got soccer, we got yeah. F one and no NBA. Hopefully by then baseball will be back, but uh maybe to get us over the hump we can just indulge ourselves in a shit ton of pizza. I'm excited for this pizza madness. Uh let's just yep. hop right into it. I'm gonna pop this up on the screen for those that are viewing um on our YouTube and our Twitch right now as we speak. As you can see before your eyes are is the uh, Wichita Most Like Pizza by Wichita by EB. Um, and we're going to stop from, start from the top left. And we're just going to continue to go down. Um, I realized I probably should have a pencil on this. 
But you know what? Let's just this is more of a conversation starter, just like the the podcast is all about. So let's just start with the top left. Uh, who would like to kick us off on who would beat Ziggy's versus O'Brien's Irish Pub? So I'll start us off here. Okay. Um, this is a kind of a weird one for us, I think. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry. Hold on. Let me ask a simple question before Let's... we start this whole bracket. Okay. Are we going off of the quality of the pizza or the all-around experience plus pizza of the restaurant? I think you got to put the restaurant there. Like, so we're going like the, the experience? Around, yeah. Like experience. Yeah. Okay. I. I think it's really how we could do it that way. Um, Are we taking a vote in that who moves on? Wait. I think we should. Yeah, I think we should. I think yes. we should. Because like it's. Here, be... This is what I think we should yeah. take into consideration here. Okay. This I think we need to number forever. one. No, we'll roll through it. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make it quick. But I think we need to one, compare the qualities of the, the restaurant. In simple terms, you know, not go, t- go too far into right, it. Right, right. And then we need to do the quality of the pizza at this place. Okay. And then we will take a and vote then, from there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Greg, I think we'll all be pretty pretty uh, similar on our votes here, but. Right. Greg, would you, mind writing, would you mind writing these down for us? Just, okay, good. All right. So I actually like that idea a lot. That's That's what this is for. So let's just start from the top left. Uh, with Ziggy's versus O'Brien's Irish Pub, Jerry, you were about to go into something. What were you thinking? Yeah. Okay. So <sighs> I know because what he's of that, say. I know what he's going to so, say as well. Uh, we used to kind of—I wouldn't say we used to frequent O'Brien's, but we used to go there quite a bit. You know, play some pool. Greg, have some... you ever been? Yeah, I've been a few times. I haven't okay. been with you guys, yeah. but I've been a few different times. <clears throat> okay, so O'Brien's is good. It's a, uh, you know, we didn't necessarily go there for the food. Um, we go there for, you know, that to, again. there's like super cheap beer. The beer wasn't even really that good, but it, it was super cheap. Uh, it was fun. We go there, you know, we, we really went there for the pool. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, so O'Brien's is good, but Ziggy's. I think, okay, I think O'Brien's takes me, takes a cake for me on the restaurant part. Like the, the pizza, atmosphere, yeah, yeah. But the pizza from Ziggy's, that's where it's at. That's where it, that's where it's in. I think that's takes the cake for me all around. Is Ziggy's okay? And Greg, what what are your thoughts? I'll kind of piggyback off what you both say here. I mean, y'all know Ziggy's is a favorite of mine, and I I always look for a pizza of the month. That's something that they do. That's kind of cool, where they have like different pizza ideas every month, and um i mean it's they're always good beer's always cold and it seems like it's always a really good time when we go or whenever we go with family so right yeah i I think i think there's a clear winner here i would i would just like to say one thing o'brien's is a fun place to go if you're looking for drinks that are cheap um i know they they have nice tables well they have one shitty table but maybe (laughs) Yeah, it's yeah. still it's still a good time. I know yeah. of one certain uh, Wheat State member that uh, lives and dies by O'Brien, so I would love, uh, a.k.a. Big Whiskey Big Al, um, I would love to hear what he would have to think about this. So, you know what, maybe we'll we'll ask him after the fact. But I think Ziggy's moves on. Do we all agree? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think okay. it's clear that Ziggy's goes. All right. And uh, moving on to our next, we got DeFazio's versus Po' Boy Pizza. I don't really have a skin in the game on this one, quite frank with you. All right. Jerry and I did some research on Po' Boy. Looks like a place we want to try. Okay. It's, yeah. a, it's, it's a little hole. Trend. It's a little hole in the wall joint up off of Lincoln and Christine, is what you said. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much Lincoln and Edgemore. Okay. Yeah, Lincoln and Edgemore. Um, DeFazio's was a Wichita staple in the Italian eateries until about two years ago. Um, and they moved on like right. I, they're not doing anything anymore um they had to close sadly i think it was in either a change in ownership or something but i mean their food was fantastic um yep. it could be also like nostalgia but it's right. their food's really good um we I had do. their pizzas yeah they it's had like flatbreads. an upscale it's like an upscaled uh olive garden 
Yeah. I think I do remember going there maybe once or twice. So Yeah, and I mean I it's local. It. They've been open since like probably the fifties or sixties. Right. So but it, I mean for me, I'm probably I think I'll just I'll probably say Po Boy because they're still in business because we can't really like make a judgment, but yeah. knowing knowing how big of a staple DeFazio's it was, like yeah. I'm not counting it out or anything i think so this you, is kind of the same argument as the top as the the competition bef- from before is defazios takes it for me from the restaurant but i don't really know if they were known for their pizza necessarily yeah a lot of it was like so, eggplant parmesan chicken parm like they're yeah, like they weren't really dishes. known for pizza is kind of what yeah. i'm yeah. understanding is, so, is so what I, I, I agree with greg here on po boy okay you know we even though none of us have been there it definitely looks like a good place. To well, go. and you know, it, 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 we can mark it down and say yeah. that we're going to try it, and then we'll we'll get back with yeah. everyone to see how it is. You yeah, know, for sure, be good. For the sake of it, I say we just move on, Po Boy. Po yep. Boy. So that yeah. next round will be Ziggy's versus Po Boy. Uh, moving on to the third, we got AJ's Sports Grill and Mulligan's Pub. Yeah. This is, you know, what I think this is the. Uh, the five six matchup, if I do say so myself, I think this yep. one could go either way. Uh, Greg, what are your thoughts here? Um, I like AJ's. Um, okay. their party pizzas are pretty good. I feel like you know I like to bowl and stuff like that, but their pizza is pretty good. Like yeah. it's pretty consistent, and you know you know what you're gonna get. I guess you know. Yeah. And I've been to Mulligans. I don't think I've ever bought pizza. Okay. But um, AJ's is like, that's what you get at AJ's. You right. Know, like yeah. and they have the big giant pizza, the yeah. f- famous giant pizza. Jerry, what are your thoughts moving into this round? I mean, I think you've had this both. One, yeah, I've had both. So this one, I was hoping that it would be a later matchup because I like both of them. Um. I agree there. Yeah, this is tough. Or if they were matched up with someone else, um, I would. I'm gonna have to go with AJ's as well. You know, Boy. the restaurant. Okay. Because, I mean, the restaurant. It's a bowling alley, pretty much. So, you can go. You can go bowling. Has some. Has some pretty good. Da- pretty dang good pizza. Uh, Mulligans. You know, it's just kind of like a bar. Uh, I think pizza was okay. Pizza was good, but. Yeah, I, I think AJ's has to take it. Okay, I I would I would say that um, I would disagree with you guys just on the pizza oh standpoint, but as far as the obviously you know the venue that that AJ's is, I think that I would have to agree with that. I mean, it's a it's a freaking bowling alley. So uh, right. we've got AJ's moving on. Do we? All, I mean, we all agree on that, right? At least. Yep. Yeah. Of. Um. And moving on to the next round, we got Bob and Luigi's versus O'Malley's Irish Pub. I've heard great things about Bob and Luigi's. I I don't know if it's open anymore. I don't know if it's open anymore. Um, um, we just looked and they closed one in Bel Air, but it looks like they moved to Andover. Okay, so um, yeah, there was one right up the road from yeah. from my crib, because and... that's what we just like. I googled. I was like, dude, we should go up there. It's like right up by Connor's yeah. place. And then I was my, like, oh, they closed. Yeah. My mom loved Bob and Luigi. So yeah. I, I never went and I I'm I don't really have a skin in the game on this one either. What are your guys' thoughts here? It's kind of a uh, I haven't been story. either one of them. But for what it's worth, they do have a buffet. It looks like old Taliana prices. It's ten dollars. Okay. At Bob and Luigi's. Yeah. Okay. And they are open. They just posted on Facebook two hours ago. Oh boy. In Andover. Okay. So, yeah, and they have TVs apparently to watch shockers and stuff. So okay, well, shocker up. We're gonna. I'm I'm sending Bob and Luigi's through. I'd say so. I've That's never been to O'Malley. I so. love the name as well, Bob and Luigi's. Who wouldn't want to go to a place named That's what Bob and Luigi's? <laughs> That's what we yeah. said earlier. You know what? I I mean, who wouldn't want to go there? So yeah. Uh, you know what? We got Bob and Luigi's moving on. This one, I, uh, I've got a hot take for this next one. Um. But the next one is Wichita Brewing Company um, versus Dudley's and Irish you're gonna, Pub. This is not going to go well for you. <laughs> it's not. But I, I just, 
uh, I, I don't know. This Jerry... could quite honestly be one of Connor's worst food takes of all time. I've never been to Dudley's. I like Wichita Brewing Company, so they that they take it for me. You, See, I'm you on... like their pizza? Yeah, I like their pizza. That's what they're known for, aren't they? Look at Connor's face. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> Okay, Wichita, hold on. We Wichita, talked about this before. Which is Is this is this the one that Greg and I went to? Or is this no, one that we went to? That is River, that River City. City. Okay. Wichita Brain Company's at North Woodlawn. Okay. You know yeah, what? On Central? Yeah. Woodlawn okay. Central. It's up there. But okay. They do have really good pizza. I yep. do like their pizza. All right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Hotter, it's gonna move on, but Wichita <laughs> bring it on because this is my hot take. Okay. Everyone showered on me. I'm sorry, but quite frankly, Wichita Brewing Company pizza reminds me of the Lunchables pizza in the crust and the sauce. It oh my God. it doesn't it doesn't do it for me. Maybe I'm getting something wrong here. I maybe I need to try it again, but quite frankly When's the last time you went? Uh, probably six months ago, maybe. I mean, not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you guys, maybe we need to go there, and uh, we can change my mind. But clearly, there's a winner there for you guys, Wichita Brewing Company. I mean, I've never been to Dudley's, so uh, call me a non Wichita. I don't, I don't know if 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 it would be good. Maybe that would. Maybe we need to try that out as well. I've Looking at this Dudley. list, I think a majority of people would probably agree with us on this. Date. Okay. Yeah, looking at this list, I think we need to get out more often. I would think so too. Or at least try yeah. different places. Yeah, because I haven't been to half of these places. I've been to most of them, but the next uh the next one for sure. I think I've been to Marcello's. I haven't been to a Vivo. So I'll be honest here. I haven't yeah. been to the rest of this half of the board. Really? Okay. Yeah. I've, I've heard good yeah. things about Yaya's. Um, yeah, Megan and I have been trying to go to Yaya's for a while. We just it's it's kind of pricey, is what I've heard. So, um, I I'm gonna be honest. I haven't really been. You want to take my picks for the rest? Yeah, let's the... just roll through it because I know oh. that you have been to these, and I'm gonna trust your opinion. Uh, okay. I think we need to get out more. Uh, I think we need to try some <laughs> new places. This is a good. Yeah. This is a good exercise for us. I, I have might have been to a Vivo. I need to see where it's at. I think I've been a Vivo. It. it I have. I have. Um. Oh yeah, it's over Maze. It's a Maze. Yeah, I went there with my mom a few times. It's it's good. They have a good salad. I mean, that's not what we're talking about, but <laughs> they have good pizza too. I mean, if you like oven brick pizza, um, I mean their pizza looks good. good. Um, I have okay, so Marcello's is one of my favorite um Italian restaurants in Wichita. I have not had their pizza. Um, but judging on like the quality of like everything else they make, I think it would be a pretty good pizza. Um, looking at Avivo's pictures, it looks pretty good, like cracker crust style stuff with yeah. like kind of like blaze you know like it looks like a blaze Ooh, pizza is like that on this blaze. list it is not because it's not a local joint uh, but neither uh, is pizza oh oh yeah neither... these are all local aren't they oh, yeah duh. i yeah. thought i saw papa john's on here but i think i just saw pizza john's yeah so i think i'll probably i think i'm a pick of vivo um marcello's I think their food's really good. Everybody should go give them a look. They've been in off of South Seneca at the same strip mall forever. Um, I actually found out about it in high school, and I would go over there when I'd get paid and eat every once in a while. It's pretty good. Um, but I'll go with Avivo since Connor's been there, and he says he thought it was good. Yeah, so. no, I would move that along as well. I, I yeah. like it, and, and they have some good salad as well. I mean, it's a good complimentary type situation so yep. i i li I really like it so um sticking with a vivo there for sure send her on sending her on to the round of is there 64 there's no way there's 64 here i don't know didn't count them what's the next one we got there's a lot of pizza in wichita there's a lot I, of pizza place 
I've never even. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I've never heard of. Yeah. Uh, All right. I have, so next, yeah. we have Piatto and Yaya's. I've been to Yaya's. Didn't have the pizza again, because usually, like, I don't know, they have like Greek food and stuff like that too. So to me, that's like something you should get while you're there. Um, it's not really known as a pizza place. If I'm no, yeah, yeah. I think it's just I, kind of a shoe in pick, maybe a yeah, an eight seed, a nine ten seed, maybe. I have been to Piatto. Yeah, it's uh, it's downtown ish. It's off of Douglas. It's I, pretty good. I think I've seen it. I mean, that doesn't say much, but I'll be- I'll believe you. Yeah, it's uh, it's downtown off of Douglas, right next to like an insurance place. But they have their salads are really good. They also do charcuterie if you're in a charcuterie. Ooh. Um, but their menu is ginormous. Yeah, and. They have a lot of really good food and it's kind of like a wine wine bar with like it's decent Italian food. So I will probably pick their pizzas because that's like what they're known for. And okay. they have they have pizza made with traditional olive oil like in Italy. And then you can also get it with marinara sauce, kind of more of Americanized stuff. So, I mean, it's like they have a lot to going for them. A lot, I guess. A lot to offer is what I'm hearing. Yep. So. Uh, are we on the right side of the bracket now? Is that where we are, or do we we have one more? Uh, I think we have Angelo's oh, and yeah. Savutes. Savutes. Yep. Savutes. Savutes. I have heard that is really good. Yep. Never been, yep. uh, but I've heard it's really good. But I don't think yeah. Angelo's is a pizza place. Yeah. Well, it's, Angelo's is not a pizza place. It's it not? Is a, it's a family Italian place, just like Savutes is. I love their um, pizza. Yeah. This is a great matchup, honestly. So, my dad is an Italian concierge. Or, yeah. I don't think that's the right connoisseur. word. Connoisseur? Yeah, connoisseur, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> concierge. <laughs> my and... dad's a concierge to the Italians. He yeah. shows them where to go. <laughs> connoisseur. Um, <laughs> and he swears by Angelo's. I, I think the old movie. location though, because it used to be over by uh, the Picassos and uh, Wichita Brewing Company over on yep. Central. He said that was the best Italian in Wichita. They just but, I think he never they said anything about the pizza. Back. Yeah, hang on. My dad and I go get pizza there. Um, whenever I go to his house every once in a while, and it's it's good pizza. I've only had their pizza. And it's it's pretty good. I I mean, if I had a choice, if if I, if it was up to me, I would take Angelo's. But that's me not going to Savutes. So maybe yeah, that's another Savutes, maybe either. that's another place we need to go. So, all right, I've never been to Angelo's or Savutes, but I'm just going off of my what my. So I too. Savutes is like known. It's kind of an older bar in Wichita. It was established in the '40s. It was kind of like a place where pilots would go, right? Or like people and aircraft it's up off of north broadway so um but they're they've been around forever still owned by the same family um i would highly recommend going to it i do not get pizza at savutes i have heard it's very good right um but we usually go for like their steaks and stuff because that's what it is it's a steakhouse kind of deal but um their food's really good and i'll i'll we'll move angelo's on i'm fine with that you guys have had it and, did we uh, move Yaya's? No, we did not. Okay, so Piatos, Plato's, yep. Piatos. <laughs> I can't so read blurry. it. It is kind of blurry. <laughs> it's Piato, P I A T O. Okay, yep. and that's what we chose to move on, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Angelos. Yep. Yeah, I I'm a sucker for Angelos. I really like it. I mean, I need to try Savutes, but. Based off what I've had, Angelo's is is what I would. Oh, I for. love Angelo's. Angelo's, yeah, their their pasta is freaking good. Yes, and I've never had their pizza, but I'll give it a go next time it's, we go. It's really, it's really freaking good. Um, That's good. So, it's good to hear. So I think we should work from the bottom up on the left side because on the on the right side. Well, I mean, no, I mean on the left side, like going to the next round. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've we've all kind of been to the top side. 
and not really the bottom side. So we should For get sure. the ones that we haven't really been to out of the way I, first. I honestly think I want to hear. I'm just doing this on the flying by the seat of my pants. What do you guys think about this podcast maybe being a two a two or three parter? I mean, I we think, could probably do a two parter. Get to like the elite eight here. Yeah, then... I mean, I think this is actually some really good conversation just because. I truly think we're going to have some debates here coming up. So yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Once we get to the other side, I think so. So I think, uh, if you're, if you're listening, look, be on the lookout for the uh, next part two of this, but we're going to continue on with this on the right side of the bracket, which, uh, we start with Picasso or wait, are we going from the bottom or top? No, no, no. We go from the top. Okay. Uh, Picasso's the next round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Picasso's versus Amy's pizza place. Uh, you guys, I mean, so I think Amy's we've... Pizza Place is Cabet, ke- ke- uh, Calabrones. Yeah, Calabrones. Sorry. Yeah. I keep wanting to good. say uh, Cabernellos. Yeah, Cabernellos. <laughs> Cabernellos. <laughs> yeah. Another Ever since you said it the other day in the yeah. last podcast, it's, it's been all stuck in my head. You've been yeah. living red free in your head. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> um, so, uh, Picasso's, obviously. Uh, I would, I would say that's that's even though even though Amy's is a hometown for all three of us, yeah, yeah does not compare to Picasso's. So we had Pica- there was a Picasso's in Derby when we were in high school. Yeah, I remember that. It, it didn't last very long though. No, but I mean, we would go up there. It was kind of like, I mean, obviously PJ's is the place in Derby, but whenever we wanted a different local pizza joint, that's where we would go. My dad thought the slices were really good. And, you know, yeah. like, there's not a lot of served by slices places, like, where everybody can just go and get whatever they want. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, that's how it is. And, you know, the bigger family restaurants, obviously, you have to settle for, like, your order or whatever, you know. So, right. but I would agree. Pizza, uh, Picasso's Pizza is pretty good. And I'll 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 pass them on, a- on Amy's. I feel bad for Miss Amy Hubler. She works real hard <laughs> and does great work down there in the Mulvane area. But besides the point, yeah, Picasso's I think is going to be a uh, a literal giant. It's a huge one seed in this. It's gonna. It's. Yeah. I think it's gonna be hard to take it down. But uh, if Amy's was on the other side, she would she would have made it a lot further. If she was down in in the bottom left, where you know maybe some of these we we haven't been to Jerry and I, yeah, it, it yeah. she could have really made a run for it. But uh, yeah. blessings to to Amy. We're well, sorry about that. But uh, moving on, we've got River City Brewing versus Dino's Grill in Tap Works. Um, All right, Greg, let's hear it. I I think you've been to both. Yeah, Jerry and I went to River City a few weeks to go together. We did not get pizza. Um, their pizza though is very good. Um, yeah, it's good. Dino's is freaking overpriced, and it seems like the last few times I've been in there, they're like, "Hey, we don't have such and such." I'm like. So what are we supposed to order? Or they're like, hey, we're out of whatever. Um, we just have drinks today. It's like I'm not right. I'm not bagging on their pizza, but still it's like how am I even supposed to get in the door to try it? Like when when we when we're talking aesthetics in the place you're yeah. eating, you kind yeah. of you know, we're not gonna get into it, but you you kinda wanna have a good back to back to back to back good good yeah. uh experience experiences i couldn't think of the word there i'm stumbling mm-hmm. over my words but um i so i've river had river city yeah river i've City's had river in... city yeah i've had yeah. their pizza and it's it's pretty good if i'm not mistaken yeah. it isn't it thin or you can get both i don't remember uh i can't remember river yeah. city pizza it's there may be a variety i know i've had it before though yeah, um, I know that yeah. there's a variety at Wichita Brewing, and obviously we get those confused. Jared did that day we went to go eat. <laughs> yeah, so, he went to yeah. the wrong place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I didn't no, go to the wrong didn't, place. Didn't oh, wrong you were. Place. He, it was just a min- miscommunication. He, he almost sent me to the wrong right, place. Right, right, right. That's, what it, That's what it was. That's what it was. I was like, wait, are we going <laughs> clear central or are we going over here? Yeah, you're like, oh, the one off a of rock. I was like, there's no such thing as a Wichita Brewing Company off of rock. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. That, but besides the point, all right, we're moving River City on. Okay, River City takes the cake against Dino's. And next up, we got El Vicino versus M- Magoo's. 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 <laughs> Magoo's bar. I'm sorry. You know, if if 
you guys are listening and you've, you love these places. I've never heard of this. Have you? I've never, never heard, heard of McGee's. I think I've seen it from the outside. Where's never it at? Been to it. I don't. I don't know. I can just picture it because the O's are eyes. I'm pretty sure, like eyeballs. Oh wait. Oh yes, I know what you're talking. About. I know what you're talking about, but I'm not sure if that's the place. I could be wrong though. They have karaoke. It's permanently closed, so that's not a good yeah. sign. Okay, that's, that's yes, a little bit unfortunate. But yes, it was the place off of Oliver with the eyeball sign. Yeah, probably because I pass it pretty often. Oh. Yeah. I know work. that's exactly what I was thinking of, but I didn't yeah. know that was a pizza place. So, okay. Well, they are no longer with us. R.I.P. Magoo's. That was a um, that was a rivalry. Then they were across the street from each other. Elvincino, yeah. Elvincino, however you mm. say it. Elvincino, yeah, yeah. I'm moving on Elvincino. I mean, they've got sure. some yeah. good pizza. It's oven. I've heard it's overpriced, but I heard it's also good. It's the experience is a little bit more delicate than just going into a bar and grabbing a pizza. It's a little bit more um, sit downy, which I I like. Yeah. That's I like that every once in a while. So I'm going yeah. Elvin Chino on that. I think we all agree there. It bit ritzy, if you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Before we move on here, this right side is stacked. This is a stacked right side. <laughs> this is a stacked right side of the board. You're not wrong. Um, oak and pie versus Talianos. I've never been to oak and pie, oak and pie but Talianos. All right, I've been to oak and pie. R.I.P. Talianos. Yeah, R.I.P. Talianos. It's, it's not a Gambinos. I like Gambinos. I don't care what anybody says. I like it. Yeah, Gambinos isn't bad, but it'll never match Talianos. I, I still haven't been in Derby. I, I don't I've know. been to I the just, one in Colwich, and it was good. Feels it feels sacrilegious walking in there and Italiano. I've right never been, and I don't yeah. want to go. It's, it it doesn't seem like it would be a good situation. It'd yeah, make me feel so, weird. It's not bad. I say Italianos. Move yeah. on. I'm with Italianos. I will say uh, oak and pie. Overpriced. overpriced. Yeah, it wasn't great. Yeah, I was gonna go that same route. Uh, un- it's unfortunate, but you know, there's got to be a Bad patch in every bucket. I'm gonna have to freaking brush my teeth five times. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of sugar in that bad boy. Mo- <laughs> moving on, <laughs> we, we, well, we've got. But hang on, I want. I actually want to. What are your thoughts on that? Honestly, was it is it as bad as you thought? All right, so you know watermelon dum dums. It's like if they were to melt them all in a pot and put them in a pop. That's what they did. Is <laughs> there's no tea in brisk. Yeah, I'm straight. Like even the brisk iced tea lemonade, it's all doesn't shit. doesn't taste like tea, and it's kind of unsettling that it looks like tea, but it tastes like lemonade. And this, the tea, tames it. I think. Yeah, I think if there's no tea in it, it would be. This shit's pink. Way sweeter. It's not. It's not yeah. tea colored. Yeah, which it, I'm fine with. Right. Right. I will say I want to just tell you one story. So when I first moved to Sedgwick, I rode back with um one of my buddies, Matt, who had a car and, and I was just I was still living at Giff's house. But I, I right. went over I, I went over to his house and we'd stop by Caddy Corner, which was the gas station, and I would get one of these every time with uh peanut butter t- uh king twix. It oh, it was yeah. it was my one it was my go to I guess I don't know so oh, kind of brings okay. me back so right. you must have been wired oh <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. It, well, is there no caffeine sleep. in there's no caffeine in this I mean no, sugar I guess sugar. Yeah, yeah. sugar okay well <laughs> it's like seventy carbs worth of sugar yeah. in there okay well back to uh back to the bracket um Tally's moving on Tally's moving on yeah. we're going with uh the next one is. Um, who do we got? Nola's and Green Olive. Uh, there's Nola's. no discussion here. Nola's. Nola's. I've never been to Nola's or Green Olive. You've never Nola. been to Nola's? When we go to near Nola's, we go to Walt. He's got a point. So no, I've never, never been to Nola's. Walt's. Whoa, oh we God. just need to. Yeah. 
can we'll, cross we'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a double date. We'll do a double, double date. date. We'll, we need to hit them up both at the same time somehow. We'll get go to Waltz for lunch, hang out there for a while, and then we'll go to Nola's for dinner. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down to do it. I'm down to clown. All right. uh, yeah, Nola's is an easy move on. Um, yeah. Next up, we've got... Uh, let's see. All right. Pop- you want to... You want to... I, uh, poplar I, for me. Electric pizza is no longer in business. Okay, that, that's an easy poplar one. It is. I mean, I've never yep. been to either. Uh, next one, there's no question. There's no fucking yeah, pizza. John's there's no fucking all the way through. There's not even a there's not even an inch in my body that flinches at this at this matchup. I mean, this is I'll the, give I'll give Pump House an honorable mention, but I mean, you're taking the uh, anyone. Okay, never mind. Pizza, yeah, Pizza John's. Pizza John's. Is, it's uh, it's moving yeah. on. That's My house is very good. Their pizza is very good. They have really good beer. I mean, it's good yep. food. Like Pump House yep. is a very good bar. It's probably one of my favorite bars in Old Town to eat at. And the so. and the aesthetics are great, but yeah, you can't fuck yep. with Pizza John's. I'm sorry. Yep. So uh, here we are, and moving on to the last of our right side, we've got Gam. Bino's versus Vora Restaurant European. Um, quite frankly, the Gambinos. Gambinos. Yep, that's an easy one. I've never been. I've never even heard of Vora. Neither have I. Um, <laughs> it, that's an easy go through for Gambinos. Yeah. Greg, you are the keeper of the next round. Yep. Moving up from, let's do let's do this next round, um, and then kind of tease. What we've got going into, what would that be? The Elite Eight? Yeah. Yep, that'd be the Elite Eight. Um, it's been a great tournament so far. Who are your who are your sleepers as of right now? What do you guys think? Uh I think I, I have I think I have my biggest sleeper already picked out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well for me. Sleeper, huh? I'm looking, I'm looking at Ziggy's. That ain't no sleeper in my opinion, though. No, yeah, sleeper, sleeper for me is probably, um, Wichita Brewing Company. Okay, yeah, I'd say the same. I, yeah, I was going with um, AJ Sports Grill. I AJ's Pizza is good. Yeah, I, I, it is good. But I, but I think if someone were to come up and tell you that that's their favorite place to eat pizza, it might be a bit of a shock. I don't know. That's my sleeper, at least going into uh, the next round. So, Greg, what do we got from the bottom to the top on the left side? All right, bottom. You have Angelo's versus Piatto. Okay. Piatto Neapolitan, the ritzy place in uh, Delano. Okay. Or in off of Douglas, and then you have uh, Savutes. Well, not Savutes, but Angelos. And, Angelos um, is, is a go for me. Yep. That's moving on. Jerry, you have any thoughts? Uh, Hold on. Sorry. I was doing something. That's all right. I think this matchup is... Um, so wait, I thought we were stopping after the Elite Eight. We're, We're not, not on the yet. Elite Eight. We're in Sweet 16, baby. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry. You're fine. That's it's all right. Okay. Uh, no, I'm good. I agree. Angelos. All right. Greg, yeah, we got yeah. Angelos moving on. Yep. Easy. Wichita Brewing Company against Avivo. Potter? Brewing company here. Potter, obvious, anything, uh, anything you'd like to thing. add? Anything I, at all? I, I've got to say, Avivo is takes my cake, but we you know. have to take you back to WBC. All right, well, that, let's make it a date. All right, we'll do it. Here. We'll do all it. Right. I'm with Jared. We'll Wichita Brewing Company's killing here. Okay. Oh yeah. my god! Absolutely killing. Okay. Well, that's All right, next. That's, that's an easy one right there. All right. I think I'm going to have a differing opinion on this. Next one. Okay. AJ's versus Bob and Luigi's. I'd have to say AJ's. Yeah, I mean, AJ's, that's the place we've all been. Greg, you've never been to Bob and Luigi's, right? No, but I am not. But I will go to bat for them right now. 
They have oh, a buffet. I don't think you can. I don't they think have a you buffet. Can. They have a buffet. I'm a big buffet guy. Do they have bowling they... balls? No, they have calzones. So See, is AJ's. It's a it's an invalid point because we've never been there, Greg. Yep. All right, if we'd fine. been there, AJ's. And you know what? If we were running a poll right now on Twitter with our seven followers, I think that AJ's would take the cake. Probably, Follow yeah. us on Twitter at Wheat State Creates, but Fucking Wheat dope. State <laughs> is is spelled out Wheat State, but then Creates is C R eight. Just yep. give us a follow. Crates. We had to get creative with our uh, handle there. So, what's the next round looking like, Greg? Not All right. Ground, well, you still have Ziggy's it. and Poe Boy, and we're doing Ziggy's. Yeah, yeah, easy Ziggy's. Easy here. dubs for Zig Boy. That doesn't mean I don't want to try Poe Boy or Bob and Luigi. No, we're they trying both, both of those. Yeah, oh, O'Brien's yeah. put up a better fight against Ziggy's than O'Brien's yeah, was about. Ziggy's was here, and O'Brien's was about here yeah i mean well well i want to hear what alex has to say i don't what has he had their pizza he's had oh their, right? he loves their pizza and i yeah. don't know how but hey you know what big al if you're listening love you but <laughs> sorry all right so ziggy's going into the good. going into the lead eight on this side of the bracket we have ziggy's versus aj's okay and wichita brewing company versus angelo's okay <laughs> And we're saving right. that for next week. Correct. Okay. Yep. So, next side of the bracket, we're starting at the top. Yep. Again. All right. Yep. Picasso's versus River City. Picasso's. Picasso's. Easy dub there. Picasso's, yep. I love their um, just getting that slice and just being able to, they chop it up and you just eat it up. Being able to, what? Yeah. What were you doing with your slice? <laughs> <laughs> you did it yourself. I <laughs> we're just over here oh doing it. All right. All right. Next. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Get it out of here. Next. Ovacino and tallies. Yeah. Tallies. 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 I agreed. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I feel like I, I thought these were gonna be harder debates, but so far it's kind of been pretty easy. Oh, it'll get there. It's getting it's gonna there. be this gruesome. next round. This next round will be the debate. Exactly, and that's when you all will have to tune in. So, yep. Greg, what do we next we, week. we got? Yep, next week. Nola's versus uh, Poplar. Poplar. I feel Nola's. bad because I've never had half of these, but I, I've got to go Nola's. I like Nola's. I like the pizza. Does that mean that they play? I can agree on Nolas. They're playing PJs. Okay. Because Gambino's is not <laughs> it. <laughs> we're, no. we're so pro PJs, it's not even funny. I hate <laughs> that we're all... But I think anybody who's ever stepped foot in that door and has had that pizza is pro PJs. Oh, for sure. I mean, anyone you talk to. I've taken people not from the area or like not even like from Kansas to yes. PJs and they're like, that's fucking good. So, yeah. It's just, it's different. It's taste. I don't even know how to explain it. Save it's, it. Save it for next week. So that's good. a that's a final four championship discussion we're going to have. That like, is, yeah, that's well, true. I love this. I love this type shit. <laughs> All right. Is that the last one? We got to finish. That's it. That's, That's it. it. All right, Greg, run us through our Elite Eight on the left side. Who are our All teams right. on the left Elite side? Elite Eight on the left side is Ziggy's. Okay. Number one for sure, probably to come out. Um, AJ's. Okay. That's a tough look, tough match. We got Ziggy's versus AJ's. All right. <laughs> okay. Then you have Wichita Brewing Company versus Angelo's Pizza. Ooh, okay. Okay. And um, then on the other side, you have Picasso's and Tally's. That'll be a That'll great be a matchup. Yeah. I think that I want, can you send this in the Discord, like just these matchups at some point? Not right now, but I want to create, I want to create some polls. I want to get things going on Twitter, and see what Nola's people think. And, Nola's and PJ's. These are some 
just exceptional I sent, matchups. I sent a rough draft. Probably it's nothing very, you can send it's out. Very but... rough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, <laughs> this has been a lot of fun. I I really do look forward to recording these live every week with you two. Um, we've we put down our differences today, and we we made this happen. We sure did. How does can everyone hold up where you are on your gallon of brisk? Because I am. It's so sugary, it's, bro. It's like it's like right here. Yeah, I I'm think right we're all about at the same spot. I'm quite above. frankly, um, yeah. You know what? If we have them till next week, bring them back. Oh, oh <laughs> it'll be flat by then. It won't be any good. You know, I'm gonna go try. To... I'm gonna try all to right. put her put some more down tonight. I don't know about that, but we'll yeah. see how it goes. It'll it'll um I don't know. It will. It'll not be good if if we keep it until next week because it'll be flat. Um, by the way, who wants drink of the week next week? Greg, you got it. We going around, we going back around. I promise I it will be an energy drink this time, fellas. I'm yeah, sorry I was that. wired the last time. Connor was like, dude, I'm not going to be able to sleep. And he was up yeah. till like 1. And we were playing chess and shit oh, until like man. 1 a.m. And then Jared's like, I got to go to work. That was uh, that was like right before you started going it super early too. So you're like, this yeah. Is yeah. Fun. What are the odds of that? Well, uh, what are the odds of you guys listening to this podcast? We'll never know. But if you do, give us a like, follow, subscribe, follow us on Twitter uh, at Wheat State Creates. Yeah, it's yeah. almost bedtime for Jerry, and it's time for <laughs> us to hop out of here. So we appreciate everybody joining. Jerry, Greg, it was great to see you guys. Great to talk. Of course. Pizza yep, Madness yep, yep. is upon us. March Madness yep. is almost upon us. Uh, and I don't think my team's going to be in it this year. But that's that besides matter. the point. Neither is mine. And Jerry doesn't have one. So you know what? Uh, this has been a great episode of conversation. We appreciate everybody joining again. Also, like, screw Rob Manfred. Screw Rob Manfred. And that is the last words we will be speaking on this podcast. Because screw Rob Manfred. And we stand with Ukraine. We stand with Ukraine. And we will yep. see you in the next one. Peace. Bye-bye. You name it, we create it.